He's taking me to school again. So. Hi. It's a light I, have to, I have to pay attention to the road. The road I have to pay attention to. Here, you pay attention to the camera. We're going to pay attention to the road. No, that, that's not how it works. I'm driving. But why? Because if you pay attention to the road and I pay attention to the camera and I'm the one driving, you'll just be able to notify me and be like, hey, we're fixing to crash into a telephone pole. And I'll be like, yay, as my body goes flying through the windshield. What? Well, get on with it. Okay. We're trying bacon candy canes. Bacon flavored candy canes. Which I'm not too thrilled about. Because that sounds nasty. Evidently, I ate all my uh, Krampus smoky cinnamon candy canes and you didn't wake up in time for me to be like, hey, do you have any of them so we can try them? It's but I haven't tried the bacon ones yet, so we're gonna try the bacon ones. Uh, I need you to open them. I'll hold the camera while you open them. Oh yeah, mom got mad at you for holding the camera last time when you were driving. She did? Yeah. Okay. Because you're paying attention to two things at once. Okay, well I'll just hold it so you see the road and we can talk. This is like one of those scary action, or not scary movie things. When you're like looking at the road and then a jump scare comes up and he goes, Rawr! <laughs> Like that? Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's a car coming. Okay, uh, <laughs> break me off a piece. Oh, we well, just open one, just open one, and then break off two pieces. See, I'm not even looking. Okay. Here, now grab the camera. I'll grab the piece. Okay. Hey, you break um, off a piece. Just put it in your mouth break it off. And then I'm going to taste it. Okay. Well, that's how you... Uh, turn, turn it around so you can at least see you. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four, seven, nine, ten, go. You did it wrong. It has a weird kind of off-putting taste to start with. Mm-hmm. Kind of salty. I don't <laughs> like it. It has like a salty taste to it. Can I throw it away now? Wait. Describe the taste. Quentin, this is for science. It's very... I'm not going to say bacony. Bacon doesn't go with good with anything besides bacon. It's almost like, like a pork fat taste. You can't recreate bacon. It's impossible. It's too good. Yeah, it's almost like... I don't know. It's... it's Almost like a pork taste, but not quite. You know when you get the fat off a piece of bacon? Can I? Sure. Okay. You know how you get the fat off a piece of bacon? That's what it kind of almost tastes like. I think, kind of like the wasabi, the true flavor is kind of in the center of it. It actually gets better the more you... So. It's like I told, it's like I told your mom. I'm like, the longer you're married to me, the better I get. I'm like, I'll finally be tolerable after we're married for about 50 years. I'll finally be tolerable. So. It's so much darker in the phone. What did you do that for? Yeah, the bacon candy cane. So, what do you say? Yay, nay, what? Nay. If you buy it, you're not going to say that because people get offended too easily. If you, if you don't like it, then or if you buy it, then you're not very smart. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Do you even know what is recording right now? Yeah. Your arm? Okay, why did that guy turn his headlights off? I don't know. Maybe you wanted to. Okay. Well, why are you watching my arm? Because I can't. Okay, so bacon candy cane taste test. Not bad. At first, when you first try it, it does have a, 
a bit of an off-putting taste to it. So, what other things do they add bacon to? Eggs. No, like, you know what I mean. What other bacon flavored things? <gasps> bacon flavored marshmallows. Ew. Yeah. No, bacon flavored chocolate is nasty. I've tried it. Oh. It's gross. Oh, that reminds me, we have the uh, spicy chocolate in the fridge when you try. Oh, yeah, we bought that like a couple months ago. Yeah. So, um, what else? Um, what else, what? You know, I would like to try bacon chocolate. Yeah. Well, I do have a recipe for, um, it's called candy bacon. You take bacon and you put it on a cookie sheet, and then you take, like, you brush it with, like, maple syrup. And you sprinkle it with brown sugar and crushed up pecans, and you bake it. I think it's called like millionaire bacon or something. Like I was about to say, what is that? But it's just a plane. I wasn't even trying to look at it. I was just like oh. showing you the sky. Let's go on UFOs. You know how the government can deny that UFOs exist? Yeah. Because the very diff. Okay, a UFO is an unidentified flying object. Keyword is unidentified. The federal government can say that UFOs do not exist because. They know what it is. They know what it is. And because they know what it is, it is not an unidentified flying object. So if you know what it is, it cannot be an unidentified flying object. That's how the government can sit there and go, there are no such things as UFOs. Because they know what it is. The government knows what it is. Oh crap. I think, I think that, that plane is circled back around. It's a government surveillance plane. It's not there. It, uh, yeah, because it, it uh, activated his cloaking device. My dad's Duh. insane. Save me, please. <laughs> My first YouTube channel. You can probably still find it. I don't even... I think it's called, like, Mr. Nobody or something like that. It was uh, my whole conspiracy theory thing. You had a YouTube channel? Yeah, and I uploaded a video, and I kept wanting to do more videos, more like conspiracy type stuff, like like tongue-in-cheek conspiracy stuff, and it was hilarious. It was when I was uh, working on the dock as an expediter, and uh, I sat there and came up with this elaborate plan about how I was stuck in a government facility, and I got the, I, I got the proof. I can't remember what the proof was for, but it was just a bunch of paperwork I had to fill out. Oh, it was stuff like um, uh, extra trip forms for trucks, um, uh, you know, the write-ups for vehicles for being late, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, your face is red from the lights. From the lights. Woo! But uh, yeah, uh, the government can, without lying, say that UFOs do not exist because. It's all, it all goes by that whole, um, um, lawyer type thing. And it's like, well, how do you choose to define this word? It's all about how you could choose to, to define this certain word, you know? So they, they might not refer to them as extraterrestrial. They might refer to them as, you know beings from whatever planet, you know? So until you hit on the, their definition of it, they can deny it. It's just like getting in an argument with a with um, your wife. You can put on the best argument ever, but they'll grab onto one word in your entire thing and base their entire argument on one word. This. What? Huh? And they'll base their entire argument on your one word, and it'll be null and void because you misused one word, or they wanted to stop, they wanted to ignore every single thing before and after, and focus on that one word. It's like really take the totality of my what I said, not one word. Human words, please. Totality. I mean, you can't even word. you you can use a different language just human words. What, what are they even talking about? Totality is not a word. Yes, it is. Totality is a word. What is the definition of totality? Totality is it 
in its total as a whole totality it's kind of like you know are you gonna eat that pizza in its totality or are you gonna share oh snap can eat it how i want to eat it uh, you just burp yes i just burped this america my vehicle i pay for it my name well, your mom and i's names are on it but in america my vehicle i can burp if i want to America. It's my birthday. I can cry if I want. To. Your birthday's in August. Well, it's January. I don't know. It's somebody's birthday. They can cry if they want to. Why would you want to cry on your birthday? I don't know. Happy birthday, whosoever birthday it is today. Maybe they're turning forty, like mom. <laughs> don't you don't want to do that. Your mom, she she kind of got mad at me on her birthday because I did a whole bunch of memes and stuff. And she was like, just wait till your birthday. I'm like, good, bring it on. I think it's hilarious. I'm like, I want you to. She goes, well, I'm going to know how old you are. And I go, good. Remember when I was younger, I would always dye my hair. Like, I dye it black. Oh, that reminds me. What? Well, I'm going to finish your story. And then I'm gonna... I, you know, I dye it black. Or there was one time I dyed it blue. And another time I had it like... Like I would just dye like spots. I had a, a one or one point in time I had like half blue and half black, and then another time I, I bleached it, and then went in and I had black spots and blue spots and red spots and stuff like that. Did you ever get in trouble for distraction? What? Like you know how some teachers are just mean and cruel, and they'll call your parents and be like, he can't be here, shave his head. He's too distracting. Oh no, that that was I was already after, out of school. I was out of school and out of the Marine Corps. Uh oh, um, I thought you meant when no, you were. when we had that apartment. Remember when we had that apartment? Oh, you did that? Yeah, you helped me. I did. Yes, you were like a little bit older than what Ronnie is now. But... I don't remember it. Yeah, you you helped me. That was a uh, around the time I started to date your mom. And she went for you with blue and black hair? Yeah, because I'm sexy. Sure. I am. So, uh, so what was your story? Oh, I'll tell you later. Never mind. Oh. I remember in the 90s, it was cool to have, like, uh, there, were, there were kids who had, like, leopard print hair dye. Like, they would sit there and dye their hair. Like, they'd bleach it and then go and dye it like a oranges oranges tan color and then do like leopard prints that was cool i never did that you're uh the only thing uh your grandparents ever let me do was uh we'd go on a church trip and all the guys bleach their hair they let me do that but wouldn't let me do anything else and i was like really and then one day uh i think i got in trouble because i had bought some blue hair dye and i was gonna dye my hair blue and i found it Got in trouble. You know, I uh, I got my ear pierced, or I got my ears pierced, and this is during the football season, my senior year. I went with my own money because I, I had a job. I had my ears pierced, and it lasted I think three or four days, and then I put on my football helmet one day, and I went because you gotta wait so long before you take them out, and I went to take it off. And it got stuck on the ear pad. And it hurt like heck. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, screw this. I just took it out. Well, about a week later, your grandma found the ear cleaning solution in the bath in uh, my bathroom. She came in there with a pair of scissors. She was going to cut the earrings out of my ear. And I go, like, are you kidding me? I'm like, like I had it. I had them in for like a week. You she know? never knew. I had them in for several days. And I was home during that time. And I'm like. I'm like, wow. Shows how much parents pay attention to their children. Dad. What? Nothing. About? Nothing. What if I got my ears pierced? You would know until two do months you, later. Do you want your ears pierced? No. Okay. I do want my yeah, hair dyed green, though. You want your what? My hair dyed green. Okay, that sounded like you said something else. What did you think I said? I'm not going to... We we're talking about piercings, and it sounded like you said something else, and then you said dyed green. I was like, "What?" So you want your hair dyed green? Yeah. 
I like the top of my hair and the sides in the back are normal. Let's see this summer. This yeah. summer? I want to do it now. Why do you want to do it now? Because. You can't say no. You died. You bleached your hair and did spots all over your head. You, your hair has been green before. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. Actually, the top of it. But that was fake dye. That didn't count. We'll, we'll see. How, how about this? <sighs> How about this? Bring all your grades up so you're not failing a single class and you can do it. How about that? Yeah, if you bring all your grades up to where you're not failing a single class. You're not putting that in the video. Okay, so say bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Say bye, Internet. Bye. Say you heard it here. Bye. Bye.